My name is Sergio, and I'm from the Superior Word Church. My wife and I just moved back to Israel. So I thought, as we travel around here, might as well take some videos and show you some of the awesome biblical and historical sites. We're currently living in Nazareth, a beautiful city. Not much has changed since the times of Jesus. In our first episode, let me take you to Mount Tabor. This is the entrance to the uh, uh, church of the Transfiguration. Transfiguration on Mount Tabor. Church of the Transfiguration built upon the ruins of the 12th century Crusader church and that one was built upon the ruins of a 4th to 6th century Byzantine church, an ancient church, which means it was only three gener or four or five generations after Christ. So it's uh, uh, not too uh, far stretched to say that this is where the transfiguration happened because the people living at that time uh, probably had less uh, confusion at the locations of these events. They built a Catholic church on top and also an Orthodox. But we're gonna, uh, for now, go to the Catholic and see what's uh, inside. So what happened on this mountain is when um, Elijah and Moses and Jesus appear, Peter said, Lord, let me build a tent for you, thinking he's going to build a tent for Moses, who is the law, Elijah, who is um, the prophet, and Jesus, who is the new covenant, the grace. So what happened? All of a sudden, God says, this is my son, listen to him, and Peter raised his eyes, and Moses is gone, and Elijah is gone, the law is gone, and the prophets are gone, only Jesus is left. But what you see that in this church, they've got three domes. The center dome is Jesus. On the left, there's the Moses, on the right, there's the Elijah dome. I've got something more interesting than the church to show you, come. So, since this is the top of the mountain, we can see the entire Galilee, the north of Israel, and the um, Jezreel Valley. So this is the left side of the, tent, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, the church. And here we should be able to see the um, east side of Israel and the north. On the other side of the church, we'll be able to see the Jezreel Valley, the Armageddon, Armageddon, Armageddon Mountain, or the Armageddon. There is something really cool if you come over here. There's a path down that takes you around the mountain. Fortunately, it's locked. A very small lock, you can probably pick it, but you shouldn't, so it's illegal. But um, uh, if this was open, there's another entrance. You could actually go down there, and there's a very cool path that goes down, uh, which should reveal lots of archaeological evidence for um, life on this mountain. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, you must be thinking to yourself, Sergio, why is the video so short? Well, because it's made to be shown during the break time, right after Prophecy Update and before the sermon. So then you think to yourself, well, why then such an abrupt ending? Terrible. Well, to that I have to say, it's not an ending. You see, there will be continuation next week when we travel down the Jezreel Valley, if there is the Mount Tabor at the very east side of the Kishon River, the Jezreel Valley, you're going to travel down it and towards the Mount of Megiddo, the Armageddon, and to Mount Carmel, where Elijah 
uh, met with the 450 worshippers of Baal and took them down to the same river Kishon to slay them. Interesting story, beautiful places. Meanwhile, enjoy this Arabic coffee recipe. It is so good, even cats like it. Right, Fifi? For this recipe, you will need Café Nahla Adom, Café Ravi, the Arabic coffee Nahla. You can buy it right here in Nazareth. Step 1. Take the little pot for coffee. You can buy this for $1 in any Arabic store in Nazareth. Fill it with water. And now for 2 cups of coffee. Turn the gas on and get it to a boiling point. Now that the water is boiling, add 2 spoons of coffee. But be very careful, the moment you add it, it kind of jumps right out of, the, of this jar. You see how it tries to jump out? Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Now let it stand for two minutes.